Hello and welcome to another episode of Tale of Tape. I'm Matt Templis, president of Engineered Materials, and since I'm coming back from spring break here just recently, soy su ministerio de cinta. Today I'd like to talk about ASTM D1056. It's a standard specification for flexible cellular materials, uh, specifically sponge and cellular rubber. It's a helpful guide to specifying your foam material without boxing yourself into a specific product number or a branded product item. Uh, the specification defines the type, the class, and the grade of foam material that you require. It also has helpful suffixes that further define your requirements to ensure that you get the foam that you need. So a foam spec under D1056 might look something like this. 2C1, C1, F1, M. Okay, so 2C1 is defines the type, the class, and the grade of cellular foam materials. The C1, F1, and M are all suffixes that further define your specific requirements. So let's dig a little bit deeper into the type, the class, and the grade of material. In our example, we have 2C1. Okay, so the first character, that type is one or a two. That's the only range it can be. One is open cell foam, two is closed cell foam. The next is the class, a little bit more complicated and, and not quite as straightforward. It goes A through D, so only four characters are available there. Uh, a is, it needs no oil resistance required in the foam. B is excellent oil resistance required in the foam. C is medium oil resistance required in the foam. And then D has nothing to do with oil resistance. It is extreme temperature resistance is required in the foam. In our case, we have a C, so we know we need a closed cell foam with medium uh, oil resistance required in that foam. The last character is the grade. This is all about compression deflection, a very important characteristic in all closed cell foams and open cell foams. It is uh, ranged from zero to five, zero being the low end of zero to two pounds per square inch compression deflection at 25%. 5 being the high end, which is uh, 17 to 25 pounds per square inch compression deflection at 25%. In our case, it is a 1. That is 2 to 5 pounds compression deflection. So now we know we have a closed cell foam. It has to have medium oil resistance and it has to have a compression deflection between two to five pounds per square inch. Now let's talk about suffixes. They can help you describe down to the T your specific foam requirements. They include things like heat aging requirements, ozone resistance requirements, temperature flexibility requirements, water absorption capabilities, fluid immersion requirements, flame resistance requirements, compression set needs, tear impact, abrasion resistance, resilience of the foam, uh, and tensile elongation of the foam. Pretty much anything you want to describe, if you want to go down to the level of detail, you can do it through those suffixes. So in our example, F, uh, pardon me, C1, F1, M, C1 calls out a specific ozone resistance per an ASTM. The F1 calls out low temperature flexibility is required, and M1 requires a specific flame resistance burn rate. So we know our foam, we have not specified a brand, we have not specified a product number, but we've specified to C1, C1, F1, M. We know that we need a closed cell foam. It's gotta have medium oil resistance. It also needs a compression deflection range of two to five pounds per square inch at 25%. It also must have a specific ozone resistance. It must have a specific uh, low temperature flexibility, and it must have flame resistance at a specific burn rate. You have called out the foam. We know exactly what it is, and folks like us can use that and, and use our sourcing abilities to pick the right product for you at the right price. We've discussed the usefulness of ASTM D1056 in specifying foams for your specific needs. If you'd like to learn more about the specification or are looking for specific foams to meet your application needs under ASTM D1056, we're here to help. 
We'll see you next time on Tale of the Tape.